So we did this survey first in 2017, uh, where we went to a number of C-suite clients and contacts, um, asking some questions about AI and their affinity to AI. Uh, we did a repeat of that towards the end of 2018, and what we have found is that the world has come a long way. Um, in that, if I just pick two categories of you know findings that we did, one was to identify what we call visionaries, who are actually looking at AI to transform the fundamentals of their business and how they run their business and how they serve their clients. Last time it was about 14%, this time it's about 25%, right? That's a big jump. Um, and they are seeing AI deliver much more than just cost savings and revenue generation. They are seeing AI help them build an interconnected ecosystem within their organization where everybody can talk to each other, use the same set of data to make decisions to a common goal. Um, the second one was around the fact that more and more people need to get reskilled, upskilled, um, in order to meet the changes that come with the execution of any transformation project. But in the case of AI, because of the hype and the buzz around AI replacing humans, um, you know, there's even more concern around bias and how is it going to be viewed. And I think a lot of firms are getting ready, I don't think they're there, are getting ready to actually address uh, the concerns of their employees, address their needs to be reskilled, as well as see how they can make their employees make better use of their time. Today we are supporting our clients in a number of ways um, and we are able to adapt to their level of maturity and understanding of how to execute on their AI vision. Um, so for instance, we have a customer who, is, who has experienced Genpact Cora um, in the form of our digital assets, has started on an RPA journey with us and now has advanced that by taking our Cora AI asset, which we call TradePay, um, in the consumer and retail goods space. Um, with this particular customer, they know what outcome they're looking for. Um, they have an understanding of what this journey can look like, what is the change management around it, what the technology journey will look like. Um, and it's been more of a partnership. Um, in the case of another customer, which is a very large uh, retail firm, we're actually starting the transformation journey with them and we're actually starting by advising them based on due diligence, analyzing their data on what outcomes they can look for and what solutions they should build to get those outcomes and what that journey is going to look like. Right? So it's two ends of the same spectrum um, around client maturity and our ability to fit in. So our ability to bring in consulting, uh, machine learning analytics, uh, you know, ready to go to market solutions, stitching together different elements of Quora. All this enables us to actually fit into the customer conversation depending on where they're at.